Hello and welcome back to this April 24th edition of UD Talks. It's my privilege to be able to welcome you in this format. I trust that you're staying healthy, that you're staying safe, that you're staying focused on uh, your schoolwork, and you're staying positive about your future. Today it's my privilege to be able to welcome Dr. Amy Baus. Dr. Baus will be sharing a bit more about student support services, specifically support services in the area of brain health. Amy, welcome. Good morning, UD students. On behalf of the Office for Vocation, Civic Engagement, and Life Services, we wanted to reach out to you today and let you know that we still are accessible for all services and resources that you might need. Within our counseling and life area, we continue to provide telehealth services as well as crisis management and response. Within our vocation and civic engagement services, we continue to help with students and their career development needs as well as those resources. So anything from resume development, cover letter, to interviewing, as well as for internship and job placement. Within this video, you will see many links and resources, and we do invite you to go ahead and look at those resources. If you're unable to find what you identify with or need, please feel free to reach out to us and we will go those next steps to make sure to identify that information. Also, if you have additional suggestions for our resource pages, please forward those to us. Uh, we really appreciate that. We're all in this together and we wanna collaborate with our resources in multiple locations. Also, we wanted to reach out to our faculty and staff members. Please know we have additional services and resources if you are in need and uh, cannot find what you would like to share with students. Please contact us and let us know. Also, lastly, to all of our students and alumni working in the healthcare sectors, we want to thank you so much for your service. Many of you have reached out to share with us what you are doing to help and support in your communities. Thank you again for your service within those communities. As we begin to close for today, we do want to encourage students to look at the resource on social distancing tips and ideas. That's a very strong list and shared with us from our Iowa College Counseling Consortium. I invite you to go to that list and start to identify with maybe one, if not two of those strategies within your day. If you're really struggling with that, that's a great opportunity for you to reach out with us so we can better help and support you in that process. Also, what's very, very important for us all is to really think about our brain health at this point and all of those six pillars of brain health and how are we applying them with a sense of normalcy in our day. Everything from sleep to rest and relaxation, food and nutrition, and our social interaction. Even if it is virtual interaction with others, such as with our faculty members, our staff members, as well as family members and friends. At this time, we really want to reach out to you and support you in Brain Health Matters. And please know that it is a sense of strength reaching out to ask for help from others. It is never a sense of weakness. Thank you.